the trans specific I just want to throw this out and then I'll go back to your calls here. It's anything goes summer after all. After Fukushima, after the nuclear power plants melted down in, in Japan, Germany, which had a couple of nuclear power plants of their own, said that's it, no more. They were already well into their, you know, ten thousand hundred thousand solar panel roofs, whatever it was, program. So a company in Sweden that makes nuclear power plants is now suing Germany. Saying, you can't do that. We're a corporation. And even though we're not a corporation in your country, Germany and Sweden have trade agreements through the EU, and we get to sue you. You can't have laws that hurt our companies. Bechtel Corporation sued Bolivia for undoing the privatization of its water supply. That was, you know, a couple of decades ago. I wrote about that in my book on equal protection. Corporations have already collected this, by the way, from, um, from a post by Cali over on Democratic Underground titled C Secret TPP Deal with Void Democracy. Corporations have already collected $365 million by suing governments usually in developing countries where the government doesn't have a lot of money, doesn't have a lot of lawyers. And they're suing them under existing treaties. There's $13 billion more in suits standing before NAFTA and CAFTA and SHAFTA tribunals in uh, Central America and Peru. Consider this. In June 2012, the Egyptian government raised the minimum wage. A French company sued them, said, you can't raise your minimum wage. These are the kind of trade agreements that the Trans-Pacific Partnership is the penultimate example of. The TPP, which is being negotiated in secret right now by the Obama administration, and they're trying to give it what's called fast-track authority, which means that it will be presented to Congress for an up-or-down vote, no amendments allowed, and no filibuster allowed. This should be considered a treaty, and it should require a two-thirds vote. But no, they're calling it an agreement, and they're trying to fast-track it. This will mean the end of democracy in America, officially, and the beginning of transnational. It's not just American corporations running the show here. It's going to be transnational corporations running the show. Welcome to the United States of Sony and Deutsche Bank and Samsung and, you know, fill in the blanks. This is not good. You may want to contact your member of Congress or call the White House comment line and share with them your opinion on whether we should have the Trans-Pacific Partnership or the Trans-Atlantic variation thereof, which Obama's, President Obama is pushing right now.